Hi, welcome to the welcome to this episode of Herald Cafe. A happy new year to you. And in this year, we are starting this uh, program Herald Cafe with an interesting character. I shouldn't say character, <laughs> in the sense that he's got a very well curated bookstore, small bookstore in Madgao. Here is Leonard Fernandez. Hello. Thank you for coming to Thank the studio. Thank you for having me here. And it's not only a bookstore, uh, he is the co-founder of that bookstore, also a co-founder of Goa Book Fair, which has just got over, and also a co-convener of uh, Publishing Next mm. thing. My uh, first uh, question will be to you, uh, like I was reading about you and uh, I've been to your bookshop and you started something called Dog Ears Bookstore uh, in 2006 using 2006, used, six, yes. used books. What was that about? How, how, how did the inspiration come up about to sell one uh, used book? Yes, then? so I was studying in the US. Mm -hmm. I was there studying and working and I did my part-time MBA there. Okay. And during that time, when we were studying, we, uh, Amazon used books was where we got our books from. Hmm. And uh, that was an easy way for students to get books, meaning because the books were very expensive. And so we thought that that concept will work in India also. Okay. So we, came, um, Queenie and I, my wife and I, came back to Goa in 2005, mm. and in 2006 we started doggiesetc.com. Mm -hmm. Doggiers uh, was a nod to that used book thing. Okay. Yeah. And uh, we had this. So that's how the book, book uh, that's how the online portal started. Mm -hmm. This was around the time that Flipkart started, also 2006. You were, um, you wanted to get into the, that wagon of that e-commerce. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so e-commerce we we thought was kind of a given already. In in India, it was mm -hmm. not very nascent at that point. There okay. were websites and mm -hmm. eBay was there, for mm -hmm. example, peer to peer again, mm -hmm. because dog ears etc was peer to peer. It was not we were not holding any inventory. Okay. So anybody, somebody could come, put their books online for sale. Mm. Somebody else could buy them. But we soon realized that e-commerce was not trusted as much at that point. Because so of the technology. Yeah, because if I ordered, there was no guarantee I'll get the books if okay. I paid and okay. things like that. Okay. And On the other hand, also those who were selling were not guaranteed. They didn't think they were guaranteed payment. So it mm. didn't take off quite well as I thought it would, as we thought it would. Now, now that you've got a physical bookstore in Margao and I've been to the bookstore so many times, uh, maybe without even you knowing also, I love the curation. So what I want to ask you is what is your uh, curatorial policy? Like you go by what is selling well in the market mm -hmm. or like you seek out subjects that attracts <coughs> you or excite the curiosity of readers? Mm -hmm. What, what? Yeah. So, what is that? so it is, it is always said that the bookshop is always a reflection of the bookshop owners mm -hmm. and that that is that works so uh, but gradually you tweak it to pe to things that people come and ask for right right so for example uh, um, so when you say when you say book best sellers we don't believe in best sellers mm -hmm. because best sellers we think and we ha we have thought about this are mostly a marketing gimmick mm -hmm. because if i say it's a best seller it becomes a best seller because mm -hmm. people then buy that book up so what we look is we look for uh, we look for plot we look for uh, various diverse authors mm. uh, we look for uh, good non-fiction mm. we keep a lot of poetry okay we probably have one of the state's largest collection of konkani books in any yes. bookshop mm. so we try to be all of that we have a good collection of goa books mm -hmm. uh, so we try to be all of that also because we think that we started as a children's bookshop we didn't start as a general bookshop, okay. Because we we realized that you cannot buy children's books online just like that. You know, you can't say I want that book for my child. You need to look at it. You need to see how the child mm -hmm. interacts with it, things like that. So we started as a children's bookshop, but we have now moved to all almost all genres. Mm -hmm. There is no genre we don't keep. Uh, there is during the book fair somebody came and asked us, "Do you all have sports books?" Mm -hmm. And we realized we don't have sports books. But otherwise, I don't think there's any genre we don't have. Might be one small niche here and there, but... Okay. Uh, like now, talking about book fairs, uh, this is your second edition of the book mm -hmm. fair. Uh, how is the journey so far, from the first to now? Yeah, so the book fair came up as 
like we need more books in Goa. Hmm? I was just talking to our distributors that some distributors had come to hmm. Bombay and they were like, we can do Goa in two days. Panjim Monday, Margao Monday, we can go back. Oh, because of less readers. Because there are, no, there are no bookshops. Okay. Where are the bookshops? You have hmm. uh, Literati in the north, hmm. you have Champaka there, hmm. you have two in Panjim, you have hmm. two in Margao. That's it. There are no bookshops hmm. in Goa. Sorry. You go into the hinterland, mm. and if you go away from the coast, absolutely mm. nothing. No. And all these bookshops cannot hold all the books. Got it. Or a, even, a, even a significant percentage of the books that are out there. Mm. So, what do you do? You do have book fairs where they come and they bring their own collections of books and things like that. So, that was the idea to have a large collection of books available to Goan readers. Mm. Because I don't think people don't read. I think, I think people don't find their book here. Yeah, anywhere. Here. Okay. You know, it's easy to say don't read, but you were mm. there on the first day. You saw the footfall. Mm. On Saturday, Sunday, it was huge. The footfall mm. was good. Mm. People just want to find that one book that they want. Mm -hmm. So that's how the Goa Book Fair came about. Mm. This year we had more books. Mm. We had more stalls, mm. but we had rain on the first day. Okay. And a lot of books got, got damaged. damaged. Yeah. Oh. A significant amount of books got damaged. Because we weren't expecting it. People mm -hmm. left their books and went home. And rain came at night at 11.30. So, got it. a lot of books got damaged. So, it was a bit of a dampener to start with. Mm -hmm. but everybody moved on. and. So, uh, so, these book fairs, is it only your effort you get some governmental subsidies, help? So, how does Ravindra work? Bhavan comes in as a venue partner. Okay. Okay. Uh, last time, it, it was through the direct. It was at the direction of the Ministry of Culture. Mm -hmm. This time, it was Ravindra Bhavan themselves said, "I'll give you." Mm -hmm. So that's the only. Okay. That's the only aid if you want to call mm -hmm. that. The mm -hmm. rest is all paid by us and mm -hmm. recovered through stall fees. Okay. Okay. So, uh, how many people? How many book stalls were there? This we had time? thirty-two book stalls this time. That's great. Is it growing from the last? Yeah, last we had 23 last time. Okay. So, like a one third increase kind mm. of thing. Mm. Do you do it every year? The plan is that. Let's see. Okay. Because yeah, finances are a problem. Mm. It's just not the stalls. You have to manage security, you have to manage these other exigencies, you have to do some little marketing, you have to do some little PR. So, all these things are there and uh, you cannot have the stall cost too high also, people won't come. And and talking about uh, book publishers, that it can be, you said, uh, Goa can be covered in a day or a half a day, you know, like that way. And you have also started this Publishing Next Book Awards. Yeah, so Publishing Next is a conference we started in 2011. Mm -hmm. We realized there is no publishing conference. There are a lot of lit fests where people there come is. to listen to the author, right? Mm. We have our own Goa Art and Literature Festival. And but there was no industry conference for publishing. So there were publishers who got left behind because they don't have the resources to do social media marketing. This is when it started. Mm. Even now, the smaller publishers cannot do much about distribution, marketing. Things. Okay. Those issues are still persisting. Mm. So we had this conference. In 2011, we had the first one. So that publishers can uh, come together, discuss and be on the same page on aspects of publishing mm. and in 2014 then we introduced the publishing next industry awards mm. we introduced in five categories now they are in 14 categories or 12 categories so th that is going on side by side yeah we, we have not had been had to have the conference because we have not been able to raise the funds to have it and this is to encourage the uh, publishing guys you know the publishing people mm. who are publishing good books or yeah. whatever problems they have you yeah. know to share all that yeah. feedback it's, it's like Rather than competition, complementing each other, maybe. Yeah. yeah, to see how they can work together, what are the best practices. Um, what are, And the awards mostly reward technical excellence. So we don't, for, we don't look at plot as much as we look at, is the book nicely d produced. Okay, okay. So it's okay. more of a production award. There are many uh, literary awards for mm -hmm. plot and things like mm -hmm. that. Publishing Next is more of a production award. Like design of the book. Design, layouts. cover design, yeah. layout, got it. Yeah, uh, production. And uh, you also have a uh, publishing uh, house, Cinnamon Tail. Yeah, it's a self-publishing house. 
What do you mean by that? Meaning the, we, the author pays for the publishing. Okay. But we have published on our own also many books. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, it is it, it kind of a hybrid between publishing and self-publishing. Mm -hmm. Nice. And uh, what now that uh, you are doing your book fairs and people's, like I think all over Goa people know about the Doggiest Bookstore, you know, mm. because of the curation of consistently delivering what mm. whatever your mind is, you know, whatever you're doing. Mm. And what, what are your future plans? What what do you want to Nothing. We just want to consolidate what we ha what we are doing. Mm -hmm. um, we are we are we are looking at a bigger space because we have outgrown the space in Margaon. Mm -hmm. Completely outgrown it. I don't know if you've come recently. So we are looking at a bigger space in mm -hmm. Margaon. Mm -hmm. There are there are issues right like parking and things like that. Mm -hmm. So that's a. But otherwise, we don't have any plans as of now. Okay. We uh, we, we there were things that we weren't doing like we were. We used to have a book day celebration. We brought Harshman that once as a speaker. Mm -hmm. So we want to revive some of those things and consolidate what we are doing. Yeah. yeah. And you've been doing these uh, programs also often. Yeah. Like all we, have, we, have, we have five this month. Yes. Yeah. Uh, that, that, yeah. That's quite a lot, you know, like to engage the community. And Thanks like to you also because we work together yeah. on those things. But uh, the idea is to have things there. Because a lot of things, mm. you know, happen in, in the north. north. Yes. Yeah. And uh, now I guess it's easy to move from north to south, but it'd be nice to have things there also to develop a pool of uh, cultural events there in mm. Margaon itself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that was the idea behind starting it, and now it's got a life of its own. So book clubs and film screenings. People are approaching people you. People are coming yeah. and yeah. approaching. So. So I think we are coming towards the end of this conversation and last thing I want to ask you about uh, what is your uh, what is your advice, what is your message to the Goan readers, you know, how, what do you have to say as a bookseller, as a... Yeah, as a bookseller I will always tell them go to a bookshop and buy a book. Why not online? Because you don't know what you want online. See, what do you uh, mean? They just think about, more choices. No, no, think about it, when you go to, when you go online, mm. You have to go with a book in mind, okay. Which you don't have to do when you go into a bookshop. You you have you have to only browse for a book, and you might find a book you didn't know even existed, which might be the right book for you. The same thing can happen in cyberspace also. No, because you'll be looking at the cover, and you know it's a very it's a very detached experience. That is true. The tactile. Thing no, yeah, you're looking at a book. You're seeing where this works, font works. Mm. Does this work for me? Does mm. this does this plot work for me? Does the way it's it's it's, it's written works for me? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Then uh, okay, you are looking at romance. But what kind of romance you are looking? Mm -hmm. The book next to the book you are looking at is as important as the book you are looking at. So okay. that serendipity is there, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. there is there is a chance of discovery that you will not find online. Mm -hmm. And just the just the act of solitary browsing, you know, mm -hmm. you yourself. Mm -hmm and the book. Just mm. that act of just taking time out from the chaos that is happening outside True. and just going to a bookshop and we don't have in our bookshops in Goa. Mm. So uh, the ones that are there need to be need to be patronized and need to be preserved, you know. True, true. So Okay, maybe uh, another uh, another question before we wind this up. Uh, are you doing any programs to increase the readership in Goa? Are you doing we, any programs? We have reading sessions for children. Okay. We had to summarily stop it because everybody was falling sick at school, you know. So okay. So we stopped it last August, but we plan to restart it again. Okay. Um, so. We have it. F we used to have it for from two to five and six to ten age groups, but we are going to have it nonetheless. Okay. So that is one thing we are doing. We also uh, had partnered with another organization to have a World Book Day for children, like a okay. small thing. Okay. That also we'll be planning to have this mm -hmm. year. So yeah. Um, yeah. Also, the book discussions that you're talking about mm. encourage people to write. So when yeah. you hear the author, they talk about his book. For example, we have two peop two authors who have come for the Purple Fest. Mm -hmm. They'll be coming there. So these are books on disability and on right. lesbianism and mm -hmm. things like that. Uh, 
it's lesbianism a word. I don't know. I think just <laughs> yeah. ism, ism you need to omit. Yeah. But uh, those are good books, mm. and you know, once you hear somebody talk about it, mm. you might be interested in that whole topic and that whole genre of books. True, true. So it's always good to hear from the author or get a yeah. signed book from the author. Yeah, nice. And 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 we f I firmly believe that if you're not reading, it's because you've not found a book. It's okay. not because you don't want to read or something. You know, okay. There is a book out there that will interest you. So nice. It's a it's a it's a good summary. It's a good way of looking at things. Yeah. Nice. Thank you for yeah. your time, Leonard. Yeah, thank you. And all the best for your future endeavors. Yeah. And I hope there are more bookshops of dog ears, you know, yeah, across thank Goa. You. Yeah, thank thanks. you. Thanks a lot. Thanks, yes, audience, we had a lovely conversation with Leonard. And I totally suggest if you go to Margao, please visit his bookstore. Uh, I think they are selling it online also. Yeah, on we sell it online. Yeah, yeah. dogears.com. Dogearsbookshop.com. Dogearsbookshop.com. You can browse it and it you will deliver it across across the world across the world yeah mm -hmm. nice thank you audience and we'll see you again next week thank you